It's spring again. I can hear the birds sing again. See the flowers start to burn. Hi guys. Um, uh, it's my uh, third week, or the beginning of my third week on testosterone. I just gave my third injection this morning to myself. Um, so, uh, let's see, I'm on um, 100 milligrams of testosterone once a week. Um, does that seem like kind of a high dose to start off with? Because um, a lot of people... Uh, start off 100 milligrams every two weeks um, so I don't know just wondering if if that's kind of normal to start off that high I'm not complaining but I'm just you know wondering um, and also um, when you guys say um, when people talk about how much testosterone they're talking they're taking they say they have like 2.5 mils or or uh, you know 0.4 mils. That really doesn't tell us out here watching the videos, you know, how much testosterone you are on because you don't, you don't really know the concentration of the, the vial. The vial could be 100 milligrams per mil, it could be 200 milligrams per mil, 50 milligrams per mil. So if you guys would, would just say like how many milligrams you're taking, I think that would be more helpful to other people. Just a suggestion. I don't know. But anyway, um, overall, I had a really good week last week. Um, changes, I, I think my voice has dropped a little bit. Um, it's a little bit, it's uh, lower in the morning, and then during the day, it goes high and low. It varies. And then by the end of the day, it's back to low again. Um, <clears throat> Let's see, um, I've noticed, oh, um, like I didn't have any hair on my arms, but like I've got these little, like you can see the pores on my arms now, and just these, I'm not gonna show you, you won't be able to see from here, but, um, but these little hairs starting all over the place, so um, that's happening. I'm not too happy about that. I really didn't want hairy arms, but you know, whatever. Um, I've gained, since last week I've gained about seven pounds um, I'm hoping it's muscle because I really haven't changed my eating habits at all um, I eat really healthy um, I'm a pescatarian or we're pescatarian and we have been for years so we eat plenty of fish um, there's no processed foods in this house no partially hydrogenated oils we don't eat junk food, um, lots of green leafy vegetables and beans and, and uh, steel oats. Hey guys, stop that. My dogs are over there wrestling. Really guys? Calm down. Anyway, so um, yeah, so I'm hoping that's muscle weight. Um, I, I swim like about three or four times a week. Um, and I do, gosh, they're just really crazy. All right, I'm gonna have to let them out. Guys, come on, let's go. Anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> I swim about three or four days out of the week, and the other days of the week I do cardio, and I do some weightlifting. Um, oh, uh, I do like uh, endurance swimming, I'd say. like um, I used to swim maybe one and a half hours, maybe two hours straight, but now um, I'm up to three hours and almost 15 minutes. Um, and to make it easier, Sandy, bought me these wonderful um, headphones for swimming. So um, they're Neptune Finis, I guess. And uh, these are awesome. I mean, you can just swim forever with these. In fact, um, I might try to swim until the charge runs out. I mean, it hasn't run out in three hours and 15 minutes, so <laughs> that might be a good challenge for me. Um, 
anyway, so, uh, that's that. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, I said I was drinking uh, dandelion tea to help um, reduce uh, water retention. Well, I broke out into a terrible rash from that, so I've stopped the dandelion tea. But I do drink uh, green tea with ginger and parsley in it every day to help uh, flush out the excess water I'm holding on to. Um, uh, unfortunately, my genetics aren't that good. I have high cholesterol and high blood pressure. Um, so aside from working out I um, and eating right, I um, take cod liver oil. And I feel like this is show and tell, but here we go. This is what I take. Uh, Norwegian cod liver oil. I take like two, two teaspoons a day of this. And um, before I started taking this, and before I started taking tea even, I had like this bald spot right in the back of my head. Well, it's the hair has grown back. And I, and I really believe it's because of the fish oil. So, and my cholesterol is right on point. So, um, so far anyway. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, let's see, let's see. Last time I talked to you guys, I told you about writing a letter to my father. That came out to him, and I was worried how he was going to respond. Well, he responded great. I mean, he couldn't be more supportive. Um, he doesn't quite get it. Um, I had to do a lot of explaining. I mean, he's 81 and old fashioned, um, but he said he'll, he'll always be there for me, so that was awesome. Um, my stepmom said she would always be there for me. That was great. And so uh, I really have um, good support. My sister, my brother, my, my niece, uh, all my family, uh, most of my family anyway, from what I can tell, cousins have been supporting me. Um, thank you. Um, and my friends. So... Um, Anyway, um, we'll just see how this this uh, third week goes. I'm probably going to have a deeper voice. I think it's I think it's going to happen this time this next week. So we'll see next week uh, how that pans out. Um, let's see anything else. Uh, oh, um, let's see. My feet have actually gotten bigger. Um, which, okay, I guess it's okay. I don't know. Um, and because guys have big feet, um, and they got a little bit wider. Um, my shoulders have have uh, widened by uh, two inches. They've broadened, and my quads are almost two inches bigger. Um, so, uh, and everything else is just kind of redistributing around the body. Um, I'm getting more of a more of a straight figure. Even, I never really had an hourglass figure at all. I ha I've always had like a boy's body, but it's even becoming more boyish um, or mannish or whatever I should say. Uh, anyway, uh, I guess that's about it for this week. Uh, we'll talk to you next week when I do my fourth shot. So, see you later. Bye. Cause